What's up everyone? We have another Dragon Ball unboxing today. We are going back in time to open some good old masters and we're doing a critical blow today. So I've already opened two boxes of this on my channel before and I did score one of my dream cards, the SPR Beast Raw Sun Gohan card. And not only that, I sent it off to Beckett for grading and I got a black label baby. <laughs> so yeah, it's just so awesome. And I love this card so much as you guys know. And it's just so cool that this whole journey of talking about it, pulling it, sending off the grading and getting the black label return. I love that that's just solidified forever online. So yeah, just really awesome. But yeah, there's still another card that I'm chasing from the set people. I need that Bursting Rage SCR Gohan card. Now, if I don't get it from this box, I may just buy it singly, already graded, but Similar to the SPR that I got, it would just mean so much more to me if I was able to pull it myself and just go through that whole journey again. So yeah, we'll see what we can do. But yeah, without any further ado, let's just crack into this and see what we can pull. So even if I don't get lucky today, I'm actually just happy to just open this set again because I really, really love Critical Blow. There's so many Gohan cards in here, so I just love it. And the artwork on even just the common and uncommon cards are just really cool. So yeah, obviously one of my favorite sets. So, all right, let's hope that I finally get an SPR box topper. Let's see. Okay. Oh my goodness. I think this actually is the first SPR box topper that I've actually gotten. Oh my goodness. Cell Max Return of Despair. Oh my goodness, people. That is actually a really sick SPR. I'm very happy with that. I can just only hope that I don't get a duplicate in this set when I get the other SPRs. So yeah, fingers crossed, but okay. That's actually uh, a really good sign. Okay. Wow. Okay. This might be the magic box, people. This might be a magic box. Let's see. And I just adore the pack art of this set as well. Just, oh, just so dope. So dope. All right. Let's put that to the side and start off strong with a Beast Gohan pack art. Oh man. I'm, I'm really happy with that SPR box topper, to be honest, like that. That's pretty cool. That means we have a better than average box. Although I have to say, I was opening some perfect combination. Um, well, actually they're not mine. Um, they're someone else's, but I was helping him. Um, oh, okay. SR straight up. Janemba, Devious Trickster. That's actually dope, man. That is so cool. I love that. I love the foiling, especially how it's in a swirl. Beautiful. Okay. Wow. We really are starting strong, aren't we? <laughs> All right. So, yeah. So as I was saying, I was helping um, someone open some perfect combination boxes because he bought a whole case. So, yeah, there was actually a, uh, a box that had an SPR box topper but we didn't really get anything from that, I don't think. But we opened a box that had an SR box topper and I actually pulled the UI Goku SCR for him. So yeah, as much as, oh, okay. I didn't know there was another card behind that. Okay. <gasps> SPR Janemba. Devious Trickster, we just, we literally just pulled the SR for this and now we have the SPR. Oh my goodness. And I don't have these cards from the other boxes I opened. So damn boy. Okay. Wow. This is a magic opening already. Seriously. So as I was saying, I 
yeah, I somehow managed to pull the, S the uh, Ultra Instinct Sun Goku SCR from Perfect Combination from a box that had an SR box topper. So, yeah, I think maybe generally having an SPR box topper is still a good sign, but yeah, I guess it's still anyone's game and anything can happen, people. Anything can happen. All right, damn, I think there's something behind this too. All right. SR SS3 Sun Goku. I'm pretty sure I don't have this one either, so. Wow, okay. Yeah, Critical Blow, man. Critical Blow is my bread, butter, and jam. Seriously. I love this set so much, and I just bought one box of this just, just on a whim. Um, so, <laughs> that's actually crazy that we're already having such mad hits, and I've only opened three packs. Wow. Okay. It would be incredible though if I could get that SCR Bursting Rage Gohan card. That That's my next um, yeah, chase in this set. But like I said, if I don't get it, maybe I will just suck it up and just buy it um, already graded so that I can just have it in my collection. But yeah, it's always just more fun and it just feels like it's more yours when you pull it yourself, you know? Um, yeah, there's obviously just like a mad high with that and just the chase is fun as well. Um, maybe it's not so fun for the wallet, <laughs> but in general, it's just, yeah, it's such a mad part of this hobby. And you know, if I happen to, oh, baby, wow, okay. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that Bulma card, man, that gets me every time. <laughs> so, yeah, obviously if I didn't pull that, but I somehow pulled the Gogeta Rainbow God Rare, that would be epic as well, but that one I'm not too, like I'm not chasing it too hard, if you know what I mean. If I get it, then obviously fantastic, it'd be just had to say I pulled a god rare but yeah you, you guys know already I've talked about this multiple times um, which god rare I would like but yeah let's just talk about that for a moment so I think when I counted there's maybe uh, I have to check again I'm obviously a bit distracted with these cards at the moment but I think there's maybe four Goku or either three or four Goku God Rares now and if you want to include the Gogeta ones as well then I think that's six so I do think that it's about time that they focus on including other characters as God Rares my my dream god rare would obviously be a really epic beast Gohan god rare. That's just my opinion. Might not be the most popular opinion, but I think that would just be absolutely incredible, especially if it, you know, kind of looked like this a bit, but just with a lot more gold foiling or something like that. Or maybe when he does the special beam cannon, I don't know, but. Um, Bandai, if you're watching this, uh, hit me up and we will design that together. <laughs> and I swear I will deliver something epic for you guys, for sure. <laughs> but yeah, a Beast Gohan God Rare would be absolutely incredible. I actually think a Broly God Rare would look absolutely insane, just with um, an insane amount of green and a lot of gold. Maybe with a bit of purple or pink in there as well. That would just be absolutely insane. Like if they could go even harder than the Broly SCR from Destroyer Kings, oh, that would that would look sick. I think everyone would want that for sure. Even if you're not the biggest Broly fan, it would just be such an epic card that it would do really well, really, really well. Um, otherwise. I think if they 
well, actually, I think they should seriously consider doing some of the villains as God rest too. I think that also would just be a really mad new direction that they could go in. So if I had to pick, it definitely would be either a Cell or a Freezer God Rare. I think, again, they would just look absolutely incredible and they could just do a really amazing job with making it look absolutely insane. Okay, there's something back here. Ooh, SR! SS Broly, see? See, if they did something like this, but just made it more insane, um, maybe bulked him up a bit, add a lot more gold foiling, like, like who wouldn't want that as a god rare? Honestly, it just would be insane in the membrane. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, definitely would love something like that. Or, yeah, a villain god rare, like Freezer or Cell. That would be... That would be absolutely incredible. They really, really should consider that. If they come out with another Goku God Ray in the next set, that would be um, kind of disappointing, to be honest. Because <laughs> there's already quite a few, so it's like, yeah, just, just, you know, there's different characters in Dragon Ball other than Goku. Like, come on, just experiment a bit. Actually, even a Shenron God Rare would actually be really, really cool, I think. So, yeah, they could do so much with the whole God Rare concept. I'm just surprised that they're really focused on kind of just doing Goku God Rares lately. Um, but yeah, we'll see, hopefully. And I do think that maybe they should consider not including a god rare in every single set that comes out just to make it a bit more exclusive like i feel like that should be the whole point of trying to obtain a god rare is that it's i mean obviously it is pretty exclusive and hard to pull in any event but having one in pretty much every set i don't know i feel like it kind of diminishes the, the whole hype and rarity about it. So, yeah, if they only had maybe, you know, one god rare every three sets or something, that might be a better way to go about it. But anyway, we'll see what direction they take. So, yeah, they're, they're just my thoughts. I'm just thinking out loud. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, especially what your dream um, god rare would be. Oh, and we have Super Few. I can never say it. Is it Few or is it Foo? I keep, <laughs> I keep messing that up. But um, yeah, anyway, it's that guy. <laughs> so yeah, would be really interested to hear what you guys think of your dream god rare. So yeah, let me know in the comments below. That would be really fun to hear what you guys think. All right, I think I am now maybe mm, just at the halfway mark, I think. And we got some pretty awesome fire in the very beginning of opening this. But yeah, let's see. Hopefully, Bursting Rage SCR. Come on, baby. Give it to me. <laughs> All right. So we got Piccolo, Sun Gohan. Oh, is that a good sign? Okay. Okay. Wow. That is such an amazing SPR. Oh my goodness. Gohan, Goten, and Goku in the background. Wow. That is incredible. I. I don't have this and I don't even um, think I've seen this in real life before. That is absolutely stunning. Yeah, sorry, let me get close up for you guys. Oh my goodness, that is... Wow. Oof, okay. 
I will, I will take that. I will happily take that. All right, so we got two SPRs from this set. We got one as a box topper. That probably is all of the hits, right? I think once we hit that, there probably is not an SCR hiding in these packs, I don't think. Um, but let's just go through it anyway. I still got quite a few packs left, but yeah, maybe, maybe all the fire was just at the beginning. <laughs> but all right, let's just keep going. Vegito. Ooh, SS3 Broly. Very nice. Actually, that was the same pack art that I just opened. Awesome. I love when that happens. And we got another Broly pack art. Alright, let's do this, baby. Okay. Alright. Demonic Blade. Dr. Hedo's Laboratory. Gohan and Goten. Paragus. Magenta, Trunks, Vegeta, Fortune Teller Baba's Palace, <laughs> Krillin and Yamcha, <laughs> Sun Goku, Gamma 2, and Sun Gohan. Yeah, did you guys like the latest movie as well? I think it's called uh, Superheroes or just Super Dra Dragon? Dragon Ball Super Heroes? Is that what it's called? <laughs> the, the one where Gohan goes beast mode for the first time and there's Orange Piccolo and Soul Max and everything. That movie. <laughs> um, yeah, I really love that movie. That actually might now be one of my favorite Dragon Ball movies. So, yeah, that was really epic. I wonder when they're going to do the next one. Or even just what they're going to do for the series in general, because obviously Toriyama has unfortunately passed away. He has, oh, that's a cool hollow trunks actually, I like that. Um, yeah, his last contribution is to Daima, which is coming out in October. So, yeah. Um, I haven't really been keeping up much with the news of really what's going to happen um, because of that. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see what direction they go into. I don't know if there's any news about if they're going to continue Dragon Ball Super as well. So yeah, we will see. Hopefully they do. Otherwise, maybe just starting a whole new anime series um, that could be cool but yeah it's just it's so different now with Toriyama just not unfortunately being with us anymore so yeah what a what a legend what an absolute legend I actually I really want to try and find a cool little Toribot figure for my collection as well I was inspired by um, BG who uh, did that and he has one now in the background of his videos too. So yeah, I wouldn't mind finding a cute little Tori bot um, either just to have in the background here or maybe just somewhere on my desk just so I can just look at it and appreciate it every day. But yeah, my desk is kind of, I have a pretty big desk, but I'm kind of running out of room because I have a whole bunch of um, cards and stuff on here like you guys can't see it but my camera is actually oops my camera is actually just sitting on top of some uh pokemon upcs um, if you don't know what that is it's just ultra premium collection boxes because i have a few of them to still open as well so yeah my camera is sitting on top of that and i've got a whole bunch of bulma cards just sitting here and my signed, well, my hot pressed signed Levi card, which I really, really want to find it in a 10 and signed by Matt Mercer, the English voice actor for Levi, who also happens to voice Hit in um, Dragon Ball Super in the Tournament of Power. I just really love his work and I love his voice. Like I, 
have a thing for cool voices so yeah it would just be really awesome to have a signed Levi card by him as well so yeah that's my holy grail pretty much getting that other than that probably just other holy grails would just be yeah probably just a bunch of um other dragon ball cards particularly the vegeta god rare um yeah there's definitely so many cards you know that you can just have in your collection but sometimes you know when <laughs> you um chase too much you know it can um yeah like <laughs> just kill your wallet so you just have to um not get too impatient and just take it as it comes and just know that if you don't get your card now like there'll always be one around and just having that um that patience you know especially for a good deal so i'm pretty sure i just saw something back here there was some pretty nice gold foiling so i think we're still due for another sr so let's see oh okay sun and goku duel with an assassin pretty sure i have this one i think i actually skipped the card yes i did it was just a brolly but <clears throat> But yeah, so that's our SR. That might be the last SR, I think. I've got, I think, two packs left, so we'll see. But yeah, I, I think I was right. That's <laughs> the only, um, all the fire was at the beginning of the box. So yeah, don't think there's anything else we can get, but let's just go through it anyway. All right, here we go. Dr. Hedo, oh, Bulma. Wow, so beautiful, <laughs> magenta. Um, landscape, <laughs> Paragus, Fu, Sun Gohan, Fortune Teller Baba, Sun Go Ten, Gohan again, and Vegito, SS Blue. Alright, last pack. <laughs> no last pack magic, I don't think, but we'll see. I, I haven't counted the SRs, so I don't know if I. Still am due for another one, or maybe that was the last one, that Sun Goku one that I just got. Alright, Janemba, Sun Goku, Paragus, Dra... Dra... You? <laughs> oh, Corrin. I love Corrin. He's so cute. Janemba, Genron, Spike, and Kumba. Alright, so that was a pretty epic box I have to say so let's go through the hits one more time so we've got SR Sun Goku SS3 Broly this beautiful SPR oh my goodness I really love that definitely keeping that one we got Super Fu Fu oh my goodness I'm never gonna get that right <laughs> uh, SR SS Broly, SS3 Sun Goku, I'm pretty sure I have the SPR version of this actually, Janemba SR and then Janemba SPR. I actually really like this, I love the, um, the cubes and everything, that's just something so different for the, for the artwork and design, so yeah, really love that. But yeah, and we also got an SPR for our box topper, the Cell Max Return of Despair. So, yeah, pretty juicy box, I think. So, no SCR, but that's okay. I'm still really happy with all of these hits. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one and take care.